guys so tomorrow is a just a big 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 day for everyone mum is super excited aren't you i'm super excited the ponies haven't got a clue what's going on but oh my gosh it's so exciting so finally i'm going to be able to do my first ever dressage test show i am so excited mum has like downloaded this amazing app oh, what's it called um it's called oh test it's pro. so british good dressage test pro british dressage test pro and honestly it's the best thing I, my mum's ever downloaded because no offense mummy but you're normally not the best at reading out shows but i feel like this is it's foolproof mum mum sounds like she's a professional because it, it does the steps and you can like click to the next like slide Just to show it. yeah and oh my god it's been so much easier to practice at my dressage test so this is the app and it's a bit bright but and when you practice the move like that and then you move on to the second move it with the arrow like that oh tap the screen anywhere and it just like it tells you where you need to go and, oh. and what you need to do and then it credits running low oh yeah because i need to sign up now definitely signing up mum that free trial's over <laughs> now it's the now you need to sign up for, but that is amazing We've been practicing for about a week now, haven't we? At home, yeah. Yeah, and you've been reading out the tests and we're trying to master as much as we can. But we're going for a lesson now with my trainer, Jez. And he's about an hour away, isn't he? Yeah. But he's really, really nice and he's really good. And I feel like he might criticize some moves. Yeah, he's gonna help you. Yeah, he's gonna help me from my centre line to my salute everything so we're on our way to our lesson now and when the lesson's over and we've loaded Rolo back up in the horse box and when we're back at home we need to full-on pamper sesh Rolo we're gonna purple shampoo in those little like shoulders and the bum bum and full massage with the like what's it called those massage scrubbing hands that I've got yeah. oh we're gonna make him shine like the sun the judges aren't going to be even able to see our moves because we're going to be so shiny. <laughs> we're going to be too bright. Hopefully it's outside, so then when we are trotting around, they'll, uh, they'll be blinded by his tail just going shoo, shoo, shoo. Um, and then they can't see all the faults. You guys are going to be hanging out with us today whilst we prepare for our first ever dressage test. I'm so excited. But I'm just going out for complete fun and experience. And I think Rolo's going to have a lot of experience as well because this is going to be his first dress life test too. I'm excited to see how he is. And it's a very, really, it's a very and really big day for him tomorrow because I don't know if he's going to be able to like handle it well. I don't know if he's going to be calm under the conditions. Like, but anyways. I'm so excited. Right, we're going to be there in about... 42 minutes. 42 minutes, so quite a, quite a long way, but it's worth it. Why do I feel like I've got like no con like loads of control with this? 
You have got loads. No, I feel like I've got loads. Right, there, you can take it off now. I have no control now. We really need to get Grandad to oil that, don't we? Yeah, can you mind the, the paintwork, babe, when you pull that out? Sorry, Mummy. Good. He practiced my test last night on both ponies, yeah. Cloudy and Rolo. How was that? Good. Mum's getting better at reading them out. Yeah, I did all right. Are you getting better at riding them? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> More importantly. <laughs> oh, hang on, sorry. Can you hear me? Yeah. How's your centre lines been? Um, we're getting better. Like, yeah. a lot better. Yeah, it's just practice. Hold, hold that outside range straight. That's it. Yeah, good. That's it. Not too fast. Remember, it'll feel like you want to go fast, but you have to just keep balancing him back. Yeah, a little rounder in the neck. Not too fast. Remember, because he's late, if he feels lazy, don't chase him. Keep him balanced. Keep him in a balance. Good. That's a little bit quick. See how you lost that shoulder? Can you see how, if you didn't have a wall there, you would have fallen out of the skull. Yeah? Don't let him go too fast. Turn now, start turning. Yeah, you turned a little late. I'll do it again. But now slow, slow, control. Don't. Remember, he's already, his head's already one time faster. You've got to go one time slower to make it level. Slow, keep your hand level, just look up, keep riding straight. As soon as you hit that centre line tomorrow, you stare that judge in the eye and you ride out. <laughs> oh my god. She's gonna time. she's gonna think I'm like patronising her. Cam, right. Slow, 20 meter circle in the middle. Yeah, look for your marker. Let it go slightly bigger. Like, yeah, good. Well done. Keep him straight on the right, straight. And use more left rein to keep him straight. Outside rein. Out, not, no faster. Give the right. Well done. Good. Give the right. Yes. You see now, like, look how you're sat. You're sat tall, you're sat straight. That's great. Yeah, good. Really nice. How's that feel? Good. That looks lovely. That looks so much better than the other day. Now push your heel down and sit on your seat. Yeah, push your knee down. Push your knees down. Yeah, that's it. Good. Now what circle was that? Um, uh, rubbish circle. You're completely right. Rubbish. <laughs> Do it again. Sorry. That's all right. Good. That's what we, we all learn from the rubbish ones. Good. Now lean back, left shoulder back. It's so easy to lose focus in the walk, but that's your, a lot of points are thrown away from walking, like making walk on the bit. Okay. Now ride a medium walk. You want to get a bit more purpose, a little bit left leg, right leg, left leg, right leg. Now let your legs breathe on his side, that's better. See the difference? You've just yeah. gone from a four to a seven, seven, five walk. So what do you want to get, a four or a seven? I want a ten. <laughs> Four or seven will go with this moment. <laughs> We're all aiming for ten, don't you worry. Yeah, good. That's better. This is like it's just a little. It's learning different techniques. Yeah. Slow, slow. Now, have you got a left brain? No, I was just thinking that actually. Right now, make sure he's round and straight. Good. That's that. Yep. Yeah, ride your corner, and then between A and K, pick up your canter right. Prepare it, prepare it, so you can do a nice transition, keep him round and soft, don't let it get too far, canter. Very good, yeah. Right, enter in working trot and proceed down the centre line without halting. Was that bad? That is a very good turn. Now, now, see how you lost balance? Then you're going a little far. At C, track left. I'm really wonky, I'm like a mile away from C. Yeah, but remember the C won't be yet that far away. Whoa. I need to do that again. That was like the worst centre line I've ever heard of. At C, track left. I'm going left, right? Yeah. That was really bad. I hate that. Oh, I hate centre lines. Because I turned way too early.
Working trot around the arena to A. Is it a working trot for this? Not around the arenas. Good, like, now where's your left rein? Do you see how he's trying to right? Okay, go too fast. What he will want you to do is go too fast tomorrow. That was really bad. I hate that turn. It's so late. At B, track left. And at M, working trot. Working canter around the arena. I'm like, oh, I'm doing it. Okay, step left high. Just a little, yeah, good boy. Pat him. Well done. Right, finish on that. You've got to breathe. So we're back in the horse box now and I feel so prepared for tomorrow. We've gone over my walk trot canter test because um, I'm doing walk trot and then walk trot canter. Yeah, I've got two tests and I think the walk trot's first, isn't it? Yes. So that all kind of, that, that warm me up. That's kind of the easy one, isn't it? I, we kind of know that one off by heart now, don't we? I hope so. I kind of know where I'm going for that one. The canter one, we're getting there. I don't know it as well as I'd like to, but I can like stare at it tonight. I'm feeling a bit more prepared for tomorrow and I feel like, I think we could, I think we could maybe get a win in one of them. No, but you can't say that. We're just going through a load of trees, so it's a bit dark, but I feel like, Tomorrow, we're either gonna go in that test feeling like, oh my gosh, that is something that I want to do every week now. That was so fun. Or we're gonna come out of it like, that is not for me. Let's quit dressage, sell the dressage titles. I'm only joking, guys. And I do love dressage and I do wanna continue doing it. So this is, this is gonna be good. I feel like we haven't done a lesson vlog for ages now, haven't we? We need, to, we need to do like one of those barn day vlogs like we did last year, don't we? Well, today was a, a lesson vlog. Yeah, that was nice. I liked today. Whilst we're on the topic of lessons now, um, I'm just going to tell you who I have lessons with. So I have lessons with Jez, who I had a lesson with today. I have him weekly and then I have lessons with Ellie and Beatrice whenever I can. So Ellie is the girl who owns Our Yard, Forest Oaks. So Ellie is a Grand Prix dressage rider and she owns Our Yard as well. Um, but I have lessons with her whenever we can fit it in, whenever my mum can do or we, and then well, whenever Ellie can do. So we have lessons with her whenever we can. So the lady who owns Cloudy's Old Yard is called B and she helped out with all of the little Shetlands that we've got in the little Shetland gang at the moment. Yeah. All Zorro, Furby, Simon, Cloudy. Racing. Yep, she's got us, she's got me and Cloudy to like our best point, hasn't she? Yeah, up and running. B actually won and went champion of Hoys last year, which is like incredible. I can't and I've actually um, ridden the pony that went champion as well. He is just like a little rocking horse to ride. Yeah. His canter is so smooth. But anyways, we're going off topic a bit, topic a bit now. Um, she is a very, very successful show rider and she's, she's amazing. She has helped us so much with Cloudy. We have got a super busy evening now, getting Rolo all ready for his dressage test tomorrow. We've got, oh yeah, we've got to find out a snuggy hood, haven't we? He's got, we have to wear Cloudy's. Is that going to fit? Yeah, it will. Do you reckon? Hopefully. Right, we're going to go get Rolo absolutely gleaming, guys, and we'll see you in a second. 
we're just literally allowed to pull up now. So I've just got him in the wash bay and I'm just going to let him have his dinner first before we start bathing him because um, he's been such a good boy. What's your leg doing up there? Oh, don't hurt me. Look, Pommy. Oh, he's biting the bucket. He, he's like... Nah. <laughs> he's just going to make even more of a mess. We might lick the mess up. Oh, Milo, <laughs> eats my foot. Or oh, am I joppers? Lick. <laughs> well, I don't want to do it to waste. <laughs> I'm not going to give these to popcorn, it'll bite up hold toe off. There we go. <laughs> Sorry Kyra, just feeding your pony my shoe. <laughs> you right, we're going to go pick out the uh, selection of products we're going to use today. The nail varnishes, um, the hairsprays, everything. The everything, because this looks... <laughs> Not like an everything. <laughs> so, these are your top three products you're going to need today, my dear ones. Shampoo, my dear ones. Very essential because I don't know what you're going to get those muddy stains off without it. Because the water ain't going to work. Sponge, my dear <laughs> Sponge, my dear <laughs> <laughs> Second product, my dear aunt, sponge. You might need this. I don't know why it's got black hairs all over it, my dear aunt. I thought you even owned black pony. Then a bucket, my dear aunt. This is what you're going to put those. <gasps> Hot oil in, my dear aunt. This is a link to the bucket, my dear aunt. This is what you're going to need. We got, we got bubblegum flavoured hot oil, my dear lens. And then, my dear lens, these are for those extras out there, my dear lens, that are gonna go to the extreme, my dear lens, to get their ponies. <laughs> right, my dear lens. So, these are the proper spa options, my dear lens. So my journalist, this is the Equus Grooming Products, Premier Natural Botanical Botanical Shampoo, my journalist. <laughs> Conditions and moisturizers. Contains moisture, enhances colour, high gloss shine. Just what we're looking for, my journalist. Next thing we got, my journalist, this strange pot. MP Top Gloss Clear. That's all it says. Then we got about Two paragraphs of instructions that I ain't gonna read. So this my dear lens is all you're gonna need at the hollow spa. So yeah. Let's get cleaning. So these are my waterproof chaps from Lemieux. And I haven't actually worn these yet, but I feel like today's gonna be the day. We kind of um, just come across them in my wardrobe this morning, didn't we, Mum? And we were like, we could use those today. So we're going to use them because um, there's like gonna, there's going to be a lot of water involved. They're just going to keep my legs dry whilst I'm bathing. But yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of digging the look here. So the first step to the pony pamper session is we've got to get our pony nice and wet. So he, I think he's quite good actually. We don't like that leg, we'll go to a different one. Oh, we don't like that leg, we'll go to a different one. Don't like that leg. <laughs> and he don't like that leg. Oh, you're so smooth. 
This is the first time we've ever used the hose on Rolo, and he's a very, he's a really good boy actually. So I'm being careful near the ears because sometimes I don't know, but most of the ponies absolutely hate it. Actually, the cloudy let us full drench him the other day, didn't he? Yeah, he was like, "Ah, oh, give me more, give me more water." He turned into a little merman. Um, most horses don't like the water going in the ear, like anywhere near the ear at all. So we just got to be really slow with it. And we've got to be quite careful. If, so if we're near the ears like this, we've got to be careful that they don't whack their head up and then like the, the water go in their ear because it can cause infection. So we've just got to be nice and gradual and very aware. Put a bit on my hand and then it's like proper purple shampoo this is. And then we're just gonna... Oh yeah. Oh, the nose and the head twist. You can also just rub it with your hands, but I quite like having the glove on because it gives them a nice little massage and scratch and it really gets in those little nooks and crannies and really loves it all up. Oh yes, oh is that good? Oh, yes. Rilo! Yay! So his mane's all shampooed now, we're onto the other side and I've rinsed it all through, scrubbed it really nicely um, and now I'm just combing it with the shampoo in just to get it really nice and flowy, ready for the conditioner. When it's all nice and smooth, it makes it rinse easier as well. And I must say, this shampoo actually acts a bit like conditioner as well, but we like to go that extra soft way and um, make him nice and shiny and soft and oh yeah, ooh la la. We also changed his head collar because it was getting purple shampoo all over it. So we've just popped it in the wash, but we didn't want to waste it by just itself. So we got some white saddle pads from a couple of friends. Um, we got their permission and we put it in the wash with that. So, because we don't want it to like put it in the wash with a navy saddle pad and then the herd collar turn navy. Like we don't want one of those. We don't want a limited edition. Um, so yeah, we're getting a nice clean wash now. I also noticed earlier that it was quite gray and a bit lighter at the roots over here. So hopefully this is gonna give it a nice jet black or really dark brown finish. Give it a really deep cleanse and get rid of all that dust and grime. Um, now I'm just getting shampoo all the way down to the roots. So splitting it and then just like massaging the shampoo into the roots. We're really lucky that we don't have to plait Rolo tomorrow because he's a native breed, we don't have to plait his mane. And there's a lot of other native breeds, like Cloudy's a native breed, so we don't need to plait him. And luckily, Popcorn is not native breed, so we have to plait him already for the show. Um, but normally we get um, someone else to do that because me and my mum are not the best at plaiting. Um, and it normally turns out a bit pom-pom looking. So Popcorn is our only pony that can actually be plaited. But it's kind of nice having a plaited one as like a plaited pony as well, because then you get the fun of like dressing them up. Um, but yeah, right, I think that's ready for a little uh, rinse through now, Carmen. I'm using our really fancy, expensive shampoo for this. This only comes out on show prep days. Only comes out. Mum caught me once using it on a little evening wash ones, just on his little mane on popcorn, so it's like, he's got a cut mane. And Mum was like, what are you doing? You're wasting the shampoo. Um, but yeah, this is only used on show prep days. How much is it? 17 pounds. It's quite a big ball though. So now I'm just brushing through his tail um, and then we're gonna rinse it out and then we're gonna put some conditioner in his mane and tail too. Um, I am washing the dog. Normally I don't really do this, but um, there's a lot of brown patches and there's a bit of dandruff in it today. So I wanted to get everything out, but we are gonna give it like an insane rinse. You've gotta be really careful and you've gotta really get all the shampoo out of this area. Otherwise it itches because through here to about there, I'm just feeling it, through there, 
There, so there is the dock, which is a bone covered in skin and then the hair grows off of it. That is where it itches most. So you've got to be really careful. You've got to really get all of the shampoo out. I don't brush, the, I don't shampoo this area on normal nights. It's just because we're doing a show. So yeah, I'm going to rinse this now, rinse the rest of his body. So this is the condition. I'm not going to use the loads. I'm just going to put it in my hands just a little bit rub it in my fingers and then just comb my way through just like that I get it it makes it remain nice shiny and silky and it's already getting quite shiny already so you don't have to use that much we're really lucky that we've got warm water here because in winter it's not nice when you're spraying cold water on them to cool them down they might get a chill or something and um, we've also got a solarium which is so helpful and handy as well but now i'm just going to sweat scrape him and then we're going to put him under the solarium and hot oil him. And when you're using one of these, you've got to make sure you're using the rubbery, flexible bit on their body because if you're doing that, I'm going to do it gently, if you're doing it like that on your body but much harder, it's not going to be that nice for them. So we use the rubbery part which can flex like that. Can you see it? It bends. It bends, so it forms to their body shape. So you can go around the, corn, the the edge of their shoulder and it really gets all of the nooks and crannies out. This is gonna make him dry faster because we're getting the water off of him. It's a bit, also a bit nicer that we're not um, leaving water on him to go and dry, so. I've just popped Rolo in the solarium so he can start drying. But now whilst he's in there, I'm going to hot oil him um, if you don't know what that is, it's basically, he's going to help me explain to you, aren't you? Um, it's basically where you get some warm water, not too hot, not too cold, just perfect what you'd have. Oh, he's like, explain the um, coat oil. So this is the MP coat oil and it smells amazing. It smells like bubblegum or it smells like those cotton candies you get at a fair. And it fizzes up a bit like a bath ball and it turns all sparkly and cloudy. And then you sponge it onto their body. He's like, oh, science experiment. Dunk the sponge in, give it a little squeeze and then we just apply it to their body. And basically in the morning when you wake up, when they're all dry, it makes their coat so shiny. Um, and you can do this after clipping as well. You can do hot oiling after clipping to get away any of the little tiny mini furries that are hanging on there. Um, we did it with popcorn as well. And it's just so nice. Hot oiling is the best thing to get their coat shiny without having to spray them with loads of different products of sprays. It gets their coat so nice and shiny. Uh, you can actually do this quite regularly as well. I know a lot of the ponies that go to Horse of the Year show do this uh, like uh, maybe a week and a half before every single day before um, Hoys just to get their coat so shiny. Oh, he's almost standing perfectly square like one of those in-hand stallions at the shows. So now I'm going to pop on his dry rug. Well, him and Cloudy share this um, because it actually fits them both really well. So I'm going to pop it on. Um, and this is amazing for if you do a lot of bathing because it gets them dry. Ooh, where am I going? It gets them dry a lot quicker than like a normal, like kind of fleecy rug would do. Or like one of those rugs that holes have it, that have the holes in them. It gets them, I don't know what voodoo magic this is. It's amazing. He's not going to sleep in this, but this is going to dry him as much as possible before we get home. No, go home. Um, so we don't have to leave him in a stable like that, that little bit damp. And he's got the blow dry on him as well. He's got the, the whole kind of uh, drying kind of magic going on here. Getting him dry quick, quick, quick. Get the full treatment at Harlow's. Stop, my Jonas. So um, Rolo is all tucked up in bed now. He's boring Cloudy's a little hood. Um, it actually fits him really nicely. I need to clean my boots because um, they are not in the best condition that they've ever seen. Um, and I also need to get all my white joppers and my show jacket and all of my hair stuff ready. Um, 
for tomorrow, but I'm super excited. Um, I would have loved to do this on popcorn, but we don't actually know when he's going to be ready for a dressage test, but hopefully it's not going to be too long. We might have to do it in January or February next year. That's absolutely fine. As long as he's, he's okay for it, actually. Mwah. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Good night. <laughs> he looks so cute. I'll come give you a little cuddle as well. Oh, hello. Oh, jeez. Itchy witchies. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. And today is the day that we do a dressage test for the first time. And I'm just getting ready now. I've got my white joppers on and my white top on. So my top is from Aztec Diamond and my breeches are from Lemire. And now I just need to get ready. I've got Where's all of the like Shazami kind of bling bling stuff on here? We've got we got these in red posts, didn't we? And we kind of went a bit for your birthday. OT, yeah, we kind of went a bit OTT on the bling, bit. bling, didn't we? Oh, which, we did. I got well excited. Which side? So I've got my walk and trot test, which is my first test, and that's kind of going to get me and Rollo in the zone. You didn't wash it last night, did you? No, I didn't. Because it's going to have loads of hairspray in it today. We've got the stronghold from Waitrose. We also had to run to Waitrose at nine o'clock last night. <laughs> yeah, because we needed hairspray and we needed hair pins, but then I actually, when I got home, I actually found some, so. So I actually thought today we would get Harlow ready at home because it doesn't go too well when we try and get her ready at the horse box. Um, um, it goes very badly. It's just like... Oh, and then mum's tucking the pony up and then I'm doing, I'm getting all my clothes on and then I've got to hold the pony while she's doing my hair into a bun or something and it's a carnage. Look at that. I can't see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks amazing. I can feel it. I'll take a picture for you in a minute. Thank you. Can we just put a couple of grips in so it doesn't, More. doesn't fly off in the test? <laughs> right, that's fine. And then now for the scrunchie. The scruncher. We went very bling bling, didn't we? Oh, look at that. I don't know if you went to wear both, but. So we are all finished with the bun. And I, I think, I think it feels quite good. Does it? Yeah. You're welcome. I mean, it's pointier here than it is there. I know, but that's because you've got a lot of hair. I don't have it <laughs> easy. Now, to keep myself clean, I'm going to pop on my onesie. So this is the onesie that I'm going to wear. Um, you, you can buy this one from the Pony Mag website. Um, but I'm going to wear it today. I've also got one in pink. I'm going to wear my black today. And oh my gosh, they're so fluffy. Harlan also has one. They're so comfy. And the good thing is I'm ready. It's going to keep me clean and warm at the same time. Because it's nice, fleecy and fluffy inside too. So... Well, and it's also got pockets. <sighs> right guys, I think we're ready to go to the yard. Oh, I've got to clean my boots in the car on the way there because they are not looking nice. Right, we're gonna head to the yard now and we'll see you there. There's just a couple little things that we need to tidy up, like socks, I need to get my hat, gloves and boots all in the bag. And then, yeah, we're ready. So we are now here and mum has ordered this adorable little leather head collar. Hello, little munchkin. Right, let's see if this fits you. 
Rop, up, 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 up. We all know what happened last time. You escaped your stable and you went into the feed room. <laughs> Darling. Darling. Can you put your head Is up? Is it going to fit? Is it going to fit? Like on number one. Is it? Popcorn's already out in the field. He's having a bit of fun. His stable's getting mucked out there. So I'm going to do his hooves now, just so it saves the job for when we get there. And it also, it's really hard to do it against the long grass, because otherwise you've got to pick out like the grass near their hooves, so you, do, it doesn't, you don't cover the grass. So we're going to... Yeah, mind your coat, babe. Oh, yeah. Don't get it on the coat. So this is the NAF Paint It Black polish. And... Oh, we should have put gloves on. Just be really careful, Harley. Does it stay in your hands? Yeah, it does. Forever. For, for about a week. Oh. But you just be really careful. No touch in the pot. Oh, stop it. <gasps> no. So we've just arrived and the first thing that we need to do is clean my boots because these have definitely seen better days. So I need to clean these like they've never been cleaned before. Um, I was hoping I'd do them on the drive here but I didn't want to get all the car dirt, the uh, front like cab car a bit dirty. So we're going to clean them now. I don't know why but this was actually in my bedroom this morning, this like tack cleaning stuff. <laughs> I don't know why. Make them nice and shiny and clean. Otherwise the judge is going to be staring at my boots like, everything else is clean. <laughs> Most people do this the day before, but as long as it gets done, no one's going to know. No one's going to know. They're going to know. <laughs> They're actually going to know because they look freshly clean too. So the judge. I'm sure Lottie Fry and Charlotte Dujardin do this, like, like as soon as she's about to go to the, um, in the ring. I'm feeling a bit nervous today because it's my first test, but I'm quite confident at the same time as well. So this should go well. This is also the first time I've ever taken Rolo out to a competition and I haven't known him very long because we only, yeah, we haven't got, we haven't had him that long actually. So this, this is a big, for both of us. Right, we're going to tie him up here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, tie him up here, Dan, just so we can see a little bit more. But I don't want him. Oh my God! Seeing loads. Well, I just don't want him out tied up outside because he's. If he chips the paint, I'm not going to be happy. There we go, darling. No. Baby. No. Oh, darling, no. Right, we might have to just get him out, babes. Get, the, get his hay net. Oh, you just going to take him off? He's really fidgety. <laughs> He's so fidgety. I'm just going to close this a little bit because I don't want him to bash his head on that, Mum. Okay. Oh, he's got a lot of shavings in that tail. I'm not going to lock it, I'm just going to close it. Very low. Oh, he's got quite pooey legs. Oh, we should have put them on for the journey, shouldn't we? Yep. But we're learning, aren't we? We're learning. Yeah, we're learning that bay ponies is just as dirty as Palomino ponies. Yep. Actually, I think popcorn is... A bit dirtier. A bit dirtier. Yeah. Right, just go between his legs, babe, at the back. It's down here. It's here, Harlow. You do it. I don't know where oh, it is. Oh, my boots have all come undone. Oh, Mum. 
I know. Do right, it. Right, you pull, you pull that bit. Right, over his head, it's got to go over his head. Over no, his... and then, what, over the head? It's got to go over his head. <laughs> feral. <laughs> <laughs> A feral pony. Uh, you got him? Yeah. Popcorn Just... is 100% our most easiest pony. Oh, we could leave him like a head collarless round this field and just stay here. Got popcorn side pad? <laughs> I don't reckon it. Oh. Is it just too massive? I mean, if we pull it up, like... Let me go from a distance. <laughs> it's... <sighs> it's massive, babe. Oh, I don't think it's ever wore back boots before. They buck me off. Jeez, let's wear that little one, babe. It's too much. But we do not like those buck boots. No, he does not. I've never known such a fidget. No, and neither have I. What's this smart? Babe, you look... You look like Lottie Fry, babe. Thank you. Right, jacket on now. So this is also from Aztec Diamond Equestrian and oh my goodness, it's so comfy. Right, do you want to go over to the warm-up? Yeah, if you've got the balsam, quickly go over with my boots and everything. No, you don't need to do that, that's fine. Okay. They're, they're really clean, babe. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. I'm guessing the warm-up's over here, because no one's really warming up over there. No. So. They must section a bit of the arena off, I think. Light it up, here we go. Turn it up, let it go. Get ready. Uh, hollow white. Get ready. Feel the heat, burn it up. Don't stop now, start it up. Hold steady. Hold steady. Get ready now, ready now.
amazing things when I get free Cause we gon' leave from here to become the next best thing since margaritas Toast to my friends who hold it down Got a five o'clock shadow like all year round Keeping that game so mysterious Ain't playing no tricks, we just switch it up I got the magic How was that? I feel like it went really good. It was good. It was good. Well, I think we've got a bit of time now, Harley. Do you reckon we've got a chance? Chance of what? <laughs> <laughs> the wink! I can't go. <laughs> let's, go, let's go give them a treat, babe. Let's go get back to the horse okay. That was fantastic there, Harley. Well done. I feel like it was really good. Done it now. First dressage test. In the bag. Done. Yep. No stopping you now. Nope. We've got about an hour and a half to our next te test, which is quite long. Um, so we're going to go pop him in the horse box, make the horse box into a bit of a stable for him. I feel like that went really good. Yeah, it was brilliant, babe. It was really good. Especially for your first this. go, and you've not known this pony two minutes. I know. So we've got Rolo in the horse box now. We've made it into a little stable for him. And he's kind of just like having a little nose round, like, what is going on? Um, he's poking his head over there. We've left the doors open. We've also got um, this living door open so we can see what he's doing. And to get him distracted, we threw, we threw treats on the floor in there. Um, from the window here and now whenever he wants more he puts his head over the window and just stays there until we give him more um i think he's eating his hay now because he's not demanding for more i can see him we will also put some water in there fingers crossed he don't spill it over um but yeah we've offered some water to him in a little bucket so he's got everything he needs now I'm just putting my waterproof chaps on. I used these for bathing him yesterday. But it's, I'm going to keep my joppers clean. But we're going to go get food in a minute. The food trucks are literally right over there. Um, I can almost see the menu from where I'm sitting here. So I'm going to get the table out. And we're going to... We're going to get some food. Right, so we've just had our lunch on our little picnic table. Um, I'm going to go see if we've got if they've got the results for the first class now. We've been waiting for about half an hour now, haven't we? Yeah. What's the results? No, you didn't. No. Oh Let's my see gosh. what I want to see what scores I got. First place. I got sevens for almost all of them. Sixty-eight percent. Oh my god. Oh my gosh! Well done, that's insane. And I've got 67.61... No, 67%. Amazing, well done. Oh my gosh. She put a lovely pony with a nice trot paces. Lovely partnership, well done. Oh, I got 7.5 for rhythm. 6.5 for suppleness, 6.5 for, sup uh, contact. for contact, 7, seven for rider's position. Ooh oh, la la. Well done, babes. And then 6.5 for rider's results. I feel like that's quite good. Yeah, for your first go, it's insane. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I've got to go show this to Rolo. Does he like rosettes? Hopefully. Hopefully. I am so proud of that. That's amazing. You've got the dressage bug now. Yeah. Yeah. Should, should we find some more shows? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've got another one in a minute, haven't you? We better tack yeah. up again now, Harlow. And then. Yes. Yeah. See how he does in the next one. You've got to do cantering in the next one, haven't you? Yes. But he's always a good boy. He always goes on the right leg. Oh, he? don't, don't, don't jinx it, babes. Okay. Do not jinx that. 
he's going to go on the wrong leg now. I thought he was an absolute superstar. He was a superstar. Yes, he was. Right, we're going to pop him in the horse box, give him some water and everything. Hey, I don't think he's going to need a rug because it is boiling. And then we'll see where we placed and then we'll go home. If this class is quite big, isn't it? Yeah, bigger than the last one. Yeah, last one there was 12, this one there's 18. Oh, well, there's none of them are as small as Rolo though. They're all horses. They're all pony, like big ponies or big or like horses. Yeah. Hello. Right. Shall we get you up? Don't think he wants to leave all this nice grass. Oh. Mum, do you reckon we got a chance of? 
Is that the secret code now? Yeah. The little wink? Yeah. Do you reckon we got a chance? Wink. Yeah. Okay. Do you reckon Oh, though? I don't know, but I've not seen everyone else do it. I have no and idea. And there's loads of adults in this class. There were so many more kids than the other ones, weren't there? Mm. And this one's more like proper dress RG, isn't it? Because it's got the canter. It was harder, this one, mm. harder test. But let's get them all ready to go home and then we can find out and then go head straight home. Do you want some water? Oh, you've got a treat in your water. You've got two treats. Do you want some water? No. <laughs> He's like, I get enough nutrition from the grass. You've got seconds. Well done. Oh, where's my sheep? Well We've done. got a first What's and a second cool? today. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. What was your score? 70.68%. You got more this time. A lovely, honest pony with good paces. Try not to rush the test and be more relaxed. Well done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well done. That is amazing. Let me see. A first and a second. I'm really proud with that. First and a second today in our first dressage test. It's incredible. That is amazing. Well done. Seventy point sixty-eight percent on this one, and last time we got sixty-eight point something something percent. So we we definitely stepped up a bit. That was amazing, and we even got an eight for our working canter around the arena. That was amazing. Oh my gosh. He was such a good boy and I feel like we should do more of these now because we've got such a great start. I just couldn't be any prouder of him today. I'm absolutely buzzing and I just can't wait for the next one. I thought it was a tiny little bit rushy. I, I, do you know what? Yeah. I was still on the sidelines and I was just itching to shout out some things. I was just like having to contain myself, not shouting some things Your out. Your face was bright red. Was it? You should have been looking at me. Well, I could just see a bright tomato face as I was cantering past you. Why? We're just bursting to tell you to slow yeah, I, down. Yeah, I, I, could, I could feel the tension <laughs> from the metres away. I know you were like, cheek, I can like help. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I was like, oh no, she's not even looking. She's not even checking. <laughs> I bet you were like this close to shouting out for the sidelines. Were you? I was. I was. It was really hard not to say. I'm so chuffed with that. I've got an eight as well. Right, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. We will definitely be doing a lot more of these. I have got the bug now. But yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye.